Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, with a very heavy heart, I welcome you all to the final episode of Ramadan Picks. But don't worry, we have got many more interesting series in the pipeline in store for you, inshallah ta'ala, in the near future. So I will most definitely be talking to you in a number of videos in the near future, inshallah ta'ala. And for this episode, inshallah ta'ala, we are going to be touching on a da'wah to ilallah, inviting people towards Allah, and Amr bil ma'roof wa nahi anil munkar, enjoining good and forbidding evil. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He states in the Noble Quran, in regard to the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, the nation of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam, that is us, you and I. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says in the Noble Quran, Kuntum khayra ummatin ukhrijat linnasi ta'muruna bil ma'roof wa tanhawna anil munkar. وَتَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ كُنْتُمْ خَيْرَ أُمَّةِ You are the best of nations. أُخْرِجَتْ لِلنَّاسِ that have been, been brought out for mankind. تَأْمُرُونَ بِالْمَعْرُوفِ وَتَنْهَوْنَ عَنِ الْمُنْكَرِ You enjoin good, forbid evil, وَتُؤْمِنُونَ بِاللَّهِ And you believe in Allah. You're brought in iman in regard to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So from this ayah we understand that enjoining good and forbidding evil is a responsibility upon our shoulders. We have a hadith of the Prophet Sallallahu that has been recorded uh, where Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu he narrates that the Prophet Sallallahu is reported to have said along the lines of these words that if any one of you witnesses something evil, munkara, if you witness something that is wrong, then you should try and stop that with your hand. Failing, you must stop it with your tongue, or speak against it. Failing, you must do so with your heart. In the sense, you must despise that act. You must hate that act. And then he sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went on to say that is the weakest form of iman. In the sense, if you cannot do it by your hand, then you move to the next degree, lower than that, which is by your tongue. Failing, then at least by your heart. So as believers, we cannot be comfortable with evil taking place around us. We cannot keep quiet if evil is occurring in front of us. We have to try and stop it. And this is where the principle of enjoining good and forbidding evil comes about. Likewise, calling people towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It is upon us believers to remind one another as Allah Azza wa says in the Noble Quran, the ayah that our entire organization is based upon, وَذَكِّرْ فَإِنَّ ذِكْرَ تَنْفَعُ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ Remind for reminders profit the believers. We are supposed to remind one another because after all as human beings, we are prone to error. We are prone to forgetfulness. We are prone to committing mistakes. So it is upon us to remind one another. We should remind ourselves to keep turning back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to make sure that we always please Allah azza wa jal and never displease Him subhanahu wa ta'ala. Talking about the month of Ramadan, the month of Ramadan is not just a month that is for ibadah. In the sense when you think about ibadah, what I mean here is just fasting and just reading the Quran. But instead the month of Ramadan can be looked at from an angle of victories as well. Because there are a number of victories that have been bestowed upon the, upon the Muslim Ummah by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during the month of Ramadan because of the hardship, because of the sacrifices that the Muslims went through and underwent during the month of Ramadan. Like say for example the battle of Badr. Now this was an epic battle, Allahu Akbar. An epic battle indeed. An amazing uh, event that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala proved to the Muslims in terms of showing them His direct help. And all of this was because of the primary goal of inviting people towards Allah Azza wa Jal. All the help that the Muslims received at that time. And even if we are to receive help from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we must make sure that we keep calling people towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We must make sure that we adhere to the principle of enjoining good and forbidding evil. And we must place our trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Most definitely He is going to help us and make sure that we are victorious in this world as well as the hereafter. With that I conclude, I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to help us all to invite as many people towards His message, towards His deen, towards Himself. And likewise, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala help us all to enjoin good and forbid evil. May He forgive our sins, accept our good deeds. May He help us to use this month of Ramadan to the best of our abilities. 
So my dear brothers and sisters in Islam, with that we conclude this series and I would like to do a few things inshallah. Primarily, I would like to thank you all for eagerly waiting for each and every episode of this series, for sharing it around as much as possible to inspire others. I would like to thank the team behind this series, the, the videographers, the designers, the video designers, my entire team. I thank them all. I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala should bless each and every one of them. I thank all of the scholars who were involved in this series, all the scholars who contributed to make this series a reality. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of them. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala preserve all of them. May He grant them the best in this world as well as the hereafter. And finally, I pray that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts this series from us and that He helps us to produce many more series in the future, insha'Allah ta'ala. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive all of our sins. And just as how He united all of us, the scholars, the team, all of you, the audience, uh, all of us uh, for this particular series, may he unite us in the gardens of Jannah with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Amin wa akhir da'wayan alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. This is Mu'iz Bukhari signing off. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Islamic Motivation, Din John and Din John Bangla is our official channel. Visit our description box and pin command to buy some Islamic products. Thank you.